Chapter 7, The Song of Songs. We're in the final two chapters and the mystery is growing. Now, all scripture is prophetic. The Jewish people are prophetic and the church is prophetic. And the purpose of all three is identical. It's for the revealing of the Messiah and his kingdom. How does that feel? To be a pointer to the Messiah and his kingdom. This truly is the high calling of God. Philippians 3, 14. Now the Song of Songs is no exception. In the Jewish interpretation written by Rashi, it covers a period from the birth of Israel, at the Exodus, to the establishment of the kingdom at the end of this age. An event frequently referred to by Jesus himself, of course, and described for Christians in the book of Revelation. And that's exactly where we are in these final two chapters. Now, as with all scripture dealing with the tribulation period, the time of Jacob's trouble, there remains something of a veil over the full understanding of these two final chapters. There are many enigmas. And I believe that full revelation is reserved until a later date. We shall exercise reverence as we always do and merely comment on the items that seem relatively clear. But for today, let's stop and wonder. Wonder at the fact that Almighty God, who once chose to manifest his glory in a burning bush, today chooses you and me, and a people who have been despised for well over 3,000 years. But here's the thing, here's the miracle. The bush burned, but was not consumed. The fire is within us, yet we are not consumed. I'll just leave you with a question. What is the greater miracle? The actual presence of God within us or the fact that we remain ourselves and are not consumed. When God takes up residence, we become who he made us to be.